Hi, this is Scott from Pipeline Effects. Here I'll demonstrate Cube's unique integration with Autodesk's Maya and how via our proprietary dynamic allocation technology, you can maximize render farm throughput, providing a dramatic improvement in render time for Maya scenes over other render farm management systems. So let's see it in action. First, we'll bring up the Cube GUI interface. The Cube GUI is cross-platform, unlicensed, and floating, so you can use it from anywhere. You can submit Maya jobs using our dynamic allocation technology directly from this interface, along with many other 2D and 3D applications. You can also use Maya Batch Render for providing all options available from Maya's command line batch renderer, mail commands for maximum flexibility for processing, MIGen for two-stage rendering with Mental Ray Standalone, and mTOR for two-stage rendering with RenderMan. Cube allows artists to easily submit directly from the Maya application by filling in the required fields automatically. That's the easiest route for submission, so we'll start there. To submit a job directly in Maya, we'll first install the submission scripts. Click on File, Install App UI, Maya, to have it install a few scripts in the user's script directory. Do the same thing for the other Maya interfaces. This only has to be done once per user. Now we'll go ahead and launch Maya. While Maya is loading, I'd like to mention that Cube manages servers and desktops running Windows, OS X, and Linux so you can have all three platforms in your render farm at the same time. With Cube's submission time path translation, now you can also create content on the PC and Mac and then easily render it on a Linux farm or vice versa. Okay, now Maya's up, so we'll load a simple scene file. Notice the Cube menu on the right hand side. Instead of clicking on the render menu and having the local render tie up your machine, click on the Cube menu and select Submit Render Job. See that the name, scene file, and frame range are already filled in. This job will ask it to run five render processes concurrently by filling in the CPU's field. We can also adjust some of the other optional fields if desired. In all these fields, you have mouse over tooltips to give you more detailed descriptions. However, the only thing you really have to do is just press the submit key. At this point, the job has been submitted and the artist can now continue working on the scene or even shutting down the computer. The render will be managed and completed by the render farm controlled by the cube supervisor. Your desktop is not tied up by your job, and you can actually monitor and manage your job from any machine on the network. The scene file can also be submitted via Maya Batch Render that exposes all of the command line options available for each render. First, we'll specify the Maya application, and then any optional overrides. Then, just like with the Maya job type, we'll submit the job and offload the work to the render farm. Now we can bring up the Cube GUI and see how our jobs are doing. The job is in the render queue and the frames are being rendered. At a glance, you can see the percent complete, the number of frames being rendered, name, priority, and other frame details. For detailed information and feedback from the renderer, you can check out the standard out and standard error panels. The graph and timeline give you visual feedback as the time it takes to render each frame or set of frames. You can also see the resulting frames directly in the output panel from any of the more common image formats. You can also use an external viewer to see the images or browse to the directories where the output is stored. Cube's dynamic frame allocation built into the Maya job type will automatically load balance the frames across the workers and maximize throughput by minimizing the number of times to load Maya in the scene file. For each job, the scene is only loaded once for each render process. Once the worker finishes the assigned frame, the supervisor dispatches it another with Maya still running and the scene file still loaded on the worker. This provides granular load balancing. Faster machines finish first and therefore get assigned more frames. Even though the job is running, with Cube, there are a number of things you can still modify on the fly. For example, let's say our deadline has just been moved up. We can change the priority so that our job is completed ahead of other tasks. Instead of a priority of 9999, we can change the priority to 100, lower numbers rendering before the higher number. We can also change the job CPUs or the number of processes we want it to run at the same time. Instead of 5, we have a pending deadline, so let's go ahead and bump it up to 20. Cube updates the job with a request and adjusts the form accordingly to complete your job. The reverse is also true. In case a priority drops, you can remove machines from a job, freeing them to do more higher priority work. So in conclusion, Managing your jobs with Cube will ensure the fastest possible overall throughput due to the unique dynamic allocation technology and make the submission and management of rendering easy and reliable. Please contact Pipeline Effects, an authorized reseller, or a Cube certified consultant near you for any questions or feedback you have about the Cube product.